right, so here we are at the uh, last video in the pentatonic pattern series. We are on pattern five. Um, so here it is again, um, cyclical repeating pattern of pentatonics up and down the guitar neck. Um, you can sort of think about five as being in front of one or behind four. I tend to think of it as in front of one, but of course it's both in front of one and behind four. Um, uh, and this is what I really mean by cycling. Um, if we were to start at one and move all the way down, we would get to pattern five, um, and we would be way away from that root bass note here, um, which I've done in the series of videos on, um, on the third string of the E, so at G. But because it's a cyclical pattern, it just turns out that Pattern five, of course, is on top of pattern one here and shares that same root note. Um, and so here we will go explore both the um, major and minor pentatonic using pattern five. And of course, then look at how to build the major scale around pattern five. So if you're still interested in this topic and would like to learn the last patterns, stick around. Okay, so here we are looking at pentatonic pattern five centered around the third fret. So again, that just means that the lowest tone in the um, scale pattern is the G string here, or the G note on the um, low E at the third fret. And now for um, playing this pattern in in the minor sense, we start the root here. Um, on the on the A, that is the fifth fret of the E string or the low E string. So it's root flat third fourth fifth seven root. And of course, it's the same as all the other patterns um, in terms of going from minor to major find your flat third and rename that thing root. When we do so, we find that now the root is on C, so this is C major pentatonic, and we can play through the pattern. And so yeah, um, the one thing I like to point out about this one, if in order to make it easy to memorize, is that there's a there's a perfect line of symmetry in the middle here, going down the middle here through these these stars or the the quote unquote fret markers on this diagram, um, and so you have this pattern of whole step, whole step, step and a half, step and a half, whole step, whole step um, that goes this symmetry to this pattern. So this one is really easy to memorize. You got you just have these little rectangles um, that you just have to memorize the length of. So um, this one's pretty easy. And next we'll look at going from C major pentatonic into C major scale um, in the same way by adding the missing tones, which you should know by now are the fourth and the seventh. Okay, so here we are looking at pentatonic pattern five. Um, we're going to be talking about looking at how to transition again from C major pentatonic in this, in this pattern five into the C major scale. And so it's just like any of the other videos. Um, we simply follow along and we add the fourths and sevenths where they make sense. So if we jump down here, we start at root on the C. Root, two, three, four. That one makes sense, it's close by. Five, six, seven, root. And all those have stayed within the pattern um, so far. But now we jump next, so it's root, two, three, four. I can play the four there, or I can actually play the four up here. They're both F. Um, but I've chosen to write it this way, um, simply so that we um, don't have uh, two whole steps on a, on a single string. So it maintains the patterns that we've seen previously on the major scale, that is, um, we'll see a pair of strings adjacent to each other with half and whole, half and whole. Another pair of strings adjacent to each other, that will be whole and half, whole and half. 
You can see in this case, um, because it winds up on the B string here, it gets shifted down by one. And then we always wind up with one string with two notes on the string. And in this case, since it's the E string, it gets repeated on both the high and the low string. Um, otherwise, you can, like I said, put the fourth here at F on the first fret. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, again, you can play the pattern that way perfectly fine. It would be da 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 da. Um. There's nothing wrong with playing it that way. Um, this just again makes sure that the pattern tries to stay as compact as possible and avoiding uh, having two whole steps on a single string and maintaining the patterns that we've seen in the previous um, uh, pentatonic uh, shapes uh, for going from the major pentatonic into the major scale. And so I hope this series of videos was helpful for um, learning uh, both the pentatonic and the major up and down the, the fretboard. If you're new to this, uh, take it slow, um, learn learn the pattern or learn learn a pentatonic pattern up and down the neck learn all learn all the keys and then start learning how to transition from one key up and down the neck into the into the pentatonic patterns and once you get familiar with that then go back and start adding these major scale and you should be well on your way of being able to improvise all over the neck and also if you start looking at these diagrams start looking at ways to build certain chords in certain areas which might be able to help your chord vocabulary so um, if you like this series of videos uh, please like comment and subscribe and share with your friends um, so i think that's it for this uh, series of the pentatonic uh, scale really important topic in getting you going in guitar